Hi, today Rob and I are going to have a chat about turmeric. Very exciting. It's a topic on everybody's tongue at the moment. Yep. Turmeric has suddenly become very fashionable as a health supplement and as the little root. Rob, tell me, why have we all got so excited about turmeric? I think that it's definitely having a moment right now. So, turmeric is um, has been shown to act as an anti-inflammatory, and I think that's why people are getting so excited about it. It's been used for years in traditional health, as you know, like Ayurvedic medicine, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese medicine, but we're starting to see new research emerge that's looking at these anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, because this is something we've all got to start thinking about, inflammation in the body, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not just about joints, which we often think about. It's about all aspects of health. We think that inflammation could be at the root of, of all sort of conditions they'll have, from heart disease through to cancer. Um, but what I will say about using turmeric is all these health claims about inflammation, particularly around joints, we don't have a huge amount of research. So it's still very early stages, but... Okay. I just think it's worth giving it a go. If yeah, there's any absolutely. sort of relief to be had, it's just food. So just no side try. effects. No side effects. Um, the only thing I will say is that if you're going to use turmeric, so turmeric powder, mm -hmm. and you want to explore these anti-inflammatory effects, then you can't absorb a lot of the active ingredient from the ground spice. Okay. So you can increase the absorption by using black pepper or eating it with a fat. But if you really want to sort of explore these anti-inflammatory properties, then you're better off looking at taking a supplement. So I've got some here which are uh, Houseband's Opti Turmeric, mm -hmm. and they contain a very high concentration of curcumin, and it's also formulated in a way that makes it very absorbable. So there's no reason you couldn't maybe so try these. they're gorgeous, look. They're a lovely colour. Oh, they're great. Come on, yeah. you want to. <laughs> Don't eat them all. They're okay. not sweets, Tracy. Not but you can, um, you could, you could take this, and you could continue to use turmeric. I'm a big believer in using quite a lot of spices in your food. Yep. Um, and this isn't just in curries, is it? We're not just talking no, about no, using turmeric in, in a curry, which is what it's traditionally known for, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's used in curries mainly as a colorant. So, oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. So in the same way that you do saffron in Spanish cooking, it's you know that bright yellow color. The flavour is really sort of earthy and it's quite sort of um, aromatic and citrusy, a bit like using mm -hmm. ginger, because they do, this is the fresh turmeric and they look, it looks very much like ginger. But you can't use too much of it because it is super pungent and it will leave all your food tasting really good. The colour is just, look at the colour, it's amazing. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So, you know, that Thank you very cool. much. Okay. Uh, but you know, you can use this in scrambled eggs. Uh, you? Oh, yes. you get quite it's nice, nice colours from this. Yeah, Does it you... just give it a little bit of hint of flavour? Yeah, you get that sort of uh, slightly earthy flavour to it, but it's, okay. yeah, you can use it in that. I'm actually going to show you today how you can use turmeric in some more unusual ways. So I'm going to show you how to make a tea. Mm -hmm. Great. And I've actually made a fresh cashew nut milk, which is actually chilling in the fridge. So I'll explain how I did that. We can, we can try that. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay, so tea first. Tea first. So, what I'm going to do is just squeeze the juice of a lemon into here. I like things really lemony when it comes to lemon mm -hmm. tea, do you? Yeah, very much. This is quite a big lemon. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful. Really beautiful lemons. Actually, I'm just going to use three quarters of it here because we've got a fairly small teapot. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of turmeric. Okay. So you might have seen some of the turmeric teas. They're really popular at the moment. Yeah, the I think um, Pucker have got a very, very good Pucker. turmeric gold, which it's, is delicious. Yeah, it's really, it's really nice. Really nice. But this is quite nice to be able to make your own. It's nice to make really it yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use some ground ginger. Yeah. I like it really spicy. Ground ginger gives you that spiciness. So I'm going to put in two teaspoons, okay. roughly. A little bit more for luck. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black pepper. Yeah. Don't add too much, just a twist. Then all we're going to do is top it up with some boiling water. Here's one I made earlier. Yeah. Ta da! Okay. Oh, great colour. Yeah, it's really good. That's very pretty. Yeah. And 
I'm going to use a little bit of honey because I like this to have a slightly sort of sweet taste to it. I think okay. it just works really well. So here we go. I'm just going to use a teaspoon of honey. You don't have to use honey. I just think it works really well. That does it just bring all the flavours together? Yeah, it really does. Okay. What um, would you only drink this hot, or could you cool it? And drink it cold. Yeah, you could cool it and drink it cold. Like quite, quite nice, nice actually. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Something. Definitely, and that's when you'd really have to use the honey because I think it didn't have a sweetness to it. It might all just be a bit too lemony, or maybe just a bit sort of spicy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's leave that to Steve just for a few minutes before we try it. And I just want to get the nut milk out that I made earlier. That's exciting. It's nice to see some different ways of using a spice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Rather than just, um, you know, just taking a supplement. I think supplements are amazing, and I think if you're looking for, um, you know, something to boost your health, it's great. But to actually incorporate things like this just in your diet, such an easy way of taking something that could make you feel a lot better. Yeah, and the reason I wanted to do these two um, particular recipes is because this is the kind of stuff that you see on the shops and health food stores, and I just think you can have a go at making it yourself. So turmeric milk. It's really popular. Yeah. There's some great companies producing it. And like I said earlier, the tea. So to make the milk, you just need to do uh, soak some cashew nuts. So I've used about 150 grams of cashew nuts. Mm -hmm. You pop those in. Yeah. Three parts water to one part cashew nuts. So about 500 mils of water. Okay. Then we've added a teaspoon of turmeric, yep. a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon, and a little pinch of uh, cardamom, ground okay. cardamom. And again, a little bit of honey just to give it a tiny bit of sweetness. Sounds lovely. Dead easy. Was it about? Great colour. <sighs> lovely colour. Can't get the top off. <laughs> Sorry about my weak friend here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the top off. <laughs> Do you want to try and get the top off? I've got very slippy hands. Oh, well done. If you need something done, get a girl to do it, hey? It's all that exercise you've been doing. I know, it's all that weightlifting. Okay, great. So this is quite rich, so you don't want to have loads of it. Um, you sure? I'm actually <laughs> feeling a bit greedy. I'm always a bit greedy. There we go. Great. Love the colour, just look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's lovely. Can I try it? Yeah, of course. Oh god, that's delicious. It's really good, isn't it? Really nice, very smooth, very mild, but with just that hint of um, spiciness yeah. coming through. I think it works really it's well. Um, also with this, if you, you can either serve it cold, but you can actually serve it warm. Mm. So yeah. it's a bit like a chai tea. Yeah. If you have it warm, it's really tasty. Okay. So should we try our um, I think we should. Let's give it a bit of a stir. You could just throw it all over the place, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> My board is scales are not great. Oh, this is a great colour. It's a really good colour. It's really pretty. Can you see this? Don't spill it even more than Rob has. Yeah. It looks gorgeous. It's really refreshing as well, actually. A bit messy in the kitchen. I'm oh, very, really, really messy. <laughs> this is very British, Tracy. Oh, are we meant to sort of clean them? Yeah, clean. Oh, it smells divine. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's really good. It's yeah. Mmm, that's really nice. I've got a bit stick all over here. Yeah, yeah. Grace. Great. Rob, thank you so much. It's so, a pleasure. Two really easy ways to use turmeric, get them into yeah. your everyday diet. We'll put recipes on the website and um, also where you can get the health span. This is Opti Turmeric, and it's I think it's pretty new, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's new. It's only just been released. Yeah, so. and I think this is a great way of supplementing your diet if you are looking to reduce inflammation. So, any questions? Rob loves answering questions. Drop them below the video or you can email through to us info at fighting50.co.uk and the question will be referred to Rob or to Healthspan so that we can get an answer for you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.